Okay, this is a pre famous Predator with our famous powder-coated chrome finish. Looks pretty good to me. Now, there's no chokes to adjust. Your mixture screws down in that hole. Your idle speed is in that one. This one here is good for racing. Uh, mud bogs and uh, truck pulling. We're running three pounds of pressure on the pump. Inline filter. 30 degrees advance on the timing at 3,000. And that's about all you need to know. There's some cams in here. We, we, we uh, furnish the standard number one, which will cover 99%. Unless you've got something like this to measure with, you're wasting your time trying to alter it, mess with them cams. That's all coffee shop bullhorn. Here we go. We're going to fire it up. Now, if you, obviously, if you don't have a if you don't have a machine like this to set it with, best thing you do is get it so so it takes the gas smooth. That, you can you can't hardly get no better than that. It's sitting there at 800 RPM, the mixture is a perfect 12 to one. Can't ask for anything better than that for a Predator. Agreed. Okay, we want to issue a warning. Never spray carburetor cleaner, starting fluid, diesel starting fluid, propane, or anything else around the base of any carburetor to check for leaks. Or never try to start a carburetor by shooting it in there. Good way to ruin your engine and remove all the finish and protection on any carburetor. If you want to check for leaks, get you an oil can like this, put the same gas that you're going to put inside your motor, and you can squirt around there. Once in a while you get one, particularly not Predators, but other carburetors, where you'll get a little bit of increase in speed around the shaft. That's normal. you got to have air going in them shafts or else they lock up and freeze up when they swell up. you got to have clearance. And uh, that's, that's the best way to check for them leaks. Other, other stuff, that's just old coffee shop talk.